Hi, I'm Christian Vance, and with this tech tip, there's actually a couple of tips uh, how to be a little bit extra creative and give some edge and bite to some of your effects and what you're doing. In another tech tip, I've shown how to do a few creative delays by sending a feedback loop of delay in on itself, and I've kept them in here just so we can have a play around with this little demonstration uh, loop and pattern I've got going on here. Kick. Let's just rename this quickly. Hi hat. We've got a clap here. And this is like a beefy synth over here. Let's just have a quick listen. And what we're going to do, uh, just to have a listen quickly, is we're going to add another return. And on that return, a chorus. Now, the chorus here, let's have a listen. Flat, and with a bit of chorus. Here's the trick. On Ableton's chorus, you've got this option here that you can times it by 20 just there, just click that on and let's have a listen and change the modulation let's turn that effect up to 100 really handy little extra creative effect that you can do on that. Now on top of this chorus, what I might do is add in our little chain here a bit of saturation. I really think saturation is underused. I think in in it can be used instead of compression on some things to give things a little bit more bite to sit them in the mix a little bit better to bleed them through the other sounds, but we're going to change this one to sinoid foid, sinoid fold, and then we put the drive up. Let's turn the output down. I tend to put it, if we put it up here, 5 dB, I tend to turn it down here, 5 dB. And let's have a listen. Just a bit more. Give it some width. And as you can hear, that's a pretty effective way to use Ableton's chorus with a little bit of saturation to make it even more edgy within the mix. And it's a really great thing to use on synths, but you can also use this technique on vocals, on percussion and different elements. Now, the other thing I'm going to show here is the hi-hat. I've put an auto pan on the hi-hat. So I'll erase it quickly and show exactly what I did. And let's just have a listen. So the hi-hat kind of... It's not perfectly mono, but it sits very much in the middle there. If we grab auto pan and we change the amount, you can hear it and it's using a frequency to change it. But what happens if we do it on the 16th, the 12th, the 6th? 3 16th sounds pretty good and let's offset it. And get a nice
and we just create a little bit of flow and movement. It's a really good little trick to use with, especially things with hi-hats that have a very quick transient presence. So it's like pop, pop, and you can go left, right, and create a bit of a stereo field quite instantly. So yeah, that's another little trick that you can use. The last one here, I would say, is you can play around with the depth and wetness and frequency of all these things here. Uh, and, you know, you might even want to just do it on the clap. So let's just use the synth here. Let's turn the cutoff down so we can hear everything else. And we can hear that chorus and saturation on the clap to create a really interesting clap. And what we'll do is we'll arm all the sends here and send the clap through. And it's just another thing that you can use in your tools of effects and it works pretty pretty brilliantly with anything thanks everybody for watching commenting and indeed liking we really do appreciate all the support we get here on our sonic academy youtube channel so if you find this video super useful please We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.